And so it begins. Another journey. Well, that can only mean one thing. We're in the security line at the airport. Hello, Matthew. Hello. And there she is, Sharon, from Sharon at Sea. <laughs> Hi there, and look who's here. Oh, yes. Mom is here. <laughs> Mama Sharon at Sea. Mama. We're rolling right through this security line here at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. Nobody's even over there. We just got one line to go and we'll be checking in. So here we go. We're heading to A24 to catch our flight. This airplane has two exit doors in the front, two exit doors forward of the wings, two exit doors behind the wings, and two exit doors in the back. All exits have evacuation signs to use in and Alright, we are going to do a little uh, walkthrough of our room here. I almost said cabin as we get ready to get on a cruise ship in a day and a half. But our room, we're at the Hampton Inn by the Orlando Airport. And we were at the Gateway location. There are two kind of right across the street from each other. Um, this one is uh, Hampton Inn Gateway. So we're in room 512. And let's see if we can, who's here, who can answer the door for us. Oh Hello. my god, look who it is. It's Sharon at sea. <laughs> Uh, here and Matthew at sea. All right, so as we walk in, immediately to the left, we have the toilet, and then we have the deal there. So let's go right into the bathroom and see what's going on here. All right, at a glimpse, it looks pretty clean. No issues. Okay, we've got some tissues. That's nice. Some pleasantly folded stuff there. Some Neutrogena products. If you forgot something, there it is. Alright, over here, a neat little dealio. The commode. They've got the shower. I do like they have the curved bar because Sharon wouldn't understand this, but for husky kids like me, it's nice to have a little room between yourself and the uh, shower curtain. So that's awesome. We'll report back on water pressure at a later time. Okay. And there's a hair dryer under there too. Oh, okay. There's a hair dryer under there. Right here you have a. I know. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, God, that's scary. Look at that. Whoa. Sorry. Here we have a closet. It's a little dark. Sorry about that. But it is a closet. It's got the hangers themselves. Whoa. Sorry, that got dark. Let's get out of there. All right. We got two queen beds. Um, all right, we got a nice big screen TV here. Looks like an LG. I'm going to say it's a 42. That's my best guess. Yeah. We it do is, have a, a little... Oh, this way. There's a fridge. A little fridge as well. It actually feels pretty cold, too. All right, chilly fridge. Nice. Some drawers, drawers and stuff. Chairs. And it does have the little coffee maker deal. Um, it's got the lamp that has a charge uh, a plug on it, so that's awesome. And if you're a um, honors Hampton or Hilton honors. Hilton's honors member, you get a little goodie bag with a couple of waters and a couple of little Yeehaw. snacks in here. Party on! I may have eaten this one already. Fantastic! <laughs> All right, and then as we come over here, you got your clock radio, and here's a little cool doodad. It's like a multi-charge little unit. Um, it's got a couple USB ports, as well as a couple of uh, three-pronged sockets there, so you can charge all your equipment overnight and be ready to roll. So that looks pretty awesome. I'm not sure if that's in every room. I can only assume it is. So that's the deal. So uh, here we are, Hampton Inn Gateway location, Orlando Airport. And this is a standard um, two queen. Standard two queen. Yeah, so let's open like that a window. Premium as well. That's a slightly bigger. Okay. Now one thing I will tell you that caught my eye. Well, all right. There's a Carabas, Bonefish Restaurant, Hair and Nails, and some place we might check out right now is IHOP Restaurant. 
Might go check that out right now. All, all Remember literally five feet out the door practically. So, very nice. And uh, just, just down to the left is that other Hampton Inn. So, make sure you pay attention to that little nugget so you don't get caught at the wrong Hampton Inn. We know what that's like, don't we, Sharon? We sure do. Oh boy, that's <laughs> Once that's, again, that's another that video. That's happened to us as well in the past. All right, so that's it. So let's wrap it up, and um, I guess we'll just leave on saying our usual. Well, should give a little overview of the room here. Oh, I was just about to leave on our usual happy cruising, but I guess okay. we didn't. So there you go. All right. Do you want to try it again now? Happy cruising. Oh, there we go. Happy cruising, <laughs> Hampton and Gateway. All right, so it is Friday, the uh, the ninth. We are here at the Hampton Inn Gateway in Orlando, near the airport. We stayed here because um, it's just convenient to the airport. We uh, went back this morning, Matthew and I, and uh, took the shuttle over, rented a truck, so we'd have a vehicle for today and to drive down to the port. It's actually much cheaper. Um, we'll talk more about that in another video, but we only spent about 70 bucks, uh, maybe 75 that way. And now that it's daytime, you can really see what's going on out here. You can see the Carabas, the Bonefish, the Nails and Spa, the IHOP. There is a uh, Longhorn Steakhouse also to the left in the parking lot you can't see right across the street are some more hotels there's another Hampton Inn across the street and there's a Denny's and probably some other restaurants too so and uh, we are literally I mean like a mile and a half from the airport it couldn't have been easier the nice thing about this hotel I got to my right a nice big cleaning cart to the left a nice big cleaning cart they're keeping this place clean and I appreciate that. So, cleanliness, thumbs up. Here's a little view of the pool area from uh, from the fifth floor by the elevators. All right, cute little deal. We were hoping to be spending a few minutes there, but it is super chilly in Florida. And there's a guy cleaning it. So again, more cleanliness. You gotta like it. All right, and like most hotels here at the Hampton Inn, uh, Orlando Gateway, they do have a cute little um, business area. Here we see Sharon at sea printing out an excursion document that she may have uh, left in her other binder at the house. So she's accessing her email. Hopefully you didn't see her passwords. And, um, and she is uh, finding that, printing out real quick. As long as you're a Shore member, excursioneer. you're good. Oh yes, you're doing a quick plug, Shore Excursioneer. So, uh, so they got it here. Just a couple, you know, got the printer, a couple computers to use, simple stuff. Nothing too fancy, but I don't know if you need anything too fancy. So that's it, business center. We're here, and we're gonna be meeting up with uh, uh, the others in our party, Terry and uh, Phyllis, although. You'll know her as mom or grandma. Just there most of the time, All right. Um, well, we made it to the Florida Mall to poke around a little bit and go find some M&Ms. Got a rental truck chilling out there. Got the crew. Finally, we got a little bit of mom and Terry in the mix. We made it. M&Ms World. Here we are. Mom's with us. Say hi. Hi. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is the greatest moment of your life on <laughs> M&M store. Let's watch it happen. Also knows to the kids that like that. Here we go. <gasps> M&M's. It's awesome. Oh my god. The enemy. I think I need that. First thing you see, you want to buy. Unbelievable. All right, we're going to walk through this M&M store. Check it out. So here you go. Oh, electric green, huh? All right, now we're checking out Sharon's M&M color mood. She's being analyzed right now.
Okay, the world wants to know. Sharon and C, what color M&M mood are you? Light purple. Very interesting. That's her color. That's one of her colors. You can charm the candy shell off a of peanut M&M. Go ahead and try it. Nice work. Okay, here's the wall of M&M's. If you like M&M's, you're in heaven right here. Did you pull the handle too hard? I heard a big splash of M&M's over here. Tiny bit. Oh boy. <laughs> I heard a whole huge crash That's landing of it. We're not getting 10 pounds of M&M's. Okay, oh, there's the maroon ones that told me. Just a little more. Yeah, I heard the whole. $14 a pound is a little pricey. Um, so here we are at the Publix. This is our pre-cruise stop so we can get a little bit of wine. Found the grocery store. We're going to go in here and see if they got a little something for us. All right, let's do this. Let's get some booze, ladies. All Let's right, get yes. some booze. It's party time. It's wine time. Yeah. They are making the big purchase. We've got the booze. We've, well, okay, not booze. We've got some wine. Yes, Sharon's happy. The girls are gonna be happy. Everyone's rolling. Well, I'm just parking the car. The rest of the crew's heading in, but uh, as you can see, we found a familiar place to go to dinner that's right you come all the way to Florida to go to the Texas Roadhouse but you know you can't go wrong so there you have it we're gonna have a little supper after a great day of hanging out and goofing off then we'll be heading back to the hotel well no trip to Florida goes without a little bit of excitement I guess uh, looks like we got some action going on right here in front of the bonefish 